Hey Virgo, this is your May monthly tarot reading. If you are a Virgo sun, moon, and rising, okay, we have cards already popping out, then this is your reading. So right away, the strength card came out. Strength cards actually, take that. The strength card is actually a Leo card. Okay, this is a fire sign. This is about having courage to overcome so something in your life you're overcoming in the month of May. Then we have the Eight of Swords, okay? And the Ten of Cups. So it's like you're overcoming. This feels like a personal constraint. You're overcoming some limiting belief, some limiting behavior some limiting belief that results in limiting behavior. You're, if you look at this Eight of Swords, you'll see that, you know, she, she's not, doesn't appear to be tied very tightly. You know, so it's like, it's almost like, uh, and she's not injured. None of the swords are going through her. It's like a, a self-inflicted wound. Okay, I see. I also see water. So, you know, what you're overcoming could be emotional because I see water in both the blue here and here. Okay, so I'm looking for the story here. This definitely, this strength, this overcoming, this integration, it feels like it's definitely spiritual. It definitely feels like you have... Um, spirit helping you that you have some type of higher knowing like you're evolving you are making better decisions you are noticing you're observing you know maybe this isn't serving me or maybe worrying about this thing that might not be in my control is not helpful for me Virgo you know when you can do that Virgo you have the gift of seeing details that other people don't see and a lot of times that's that's perceived as nitpicky or you know super uber detail oriented or analytical or even perfectionistic those are actual blurbs that that are used to describe virgo but virgo energy is perfecting and actually if you think about it every, the soul itself is perfecting you know it's about the soul's journey we don't start What's the point of, of, of incarnating if it's not to learn, to, to perfect? It doesn't mean you have to be perfect. It means to perfect, to continue to perfect. So, so long as you can observe this mental energy, I think you're going to be able to transmute that a lot more in the month of May because this resulting, well, both because the strength, this is a major arcana, this is spirit energy. This is divine. This is, you know, an awakening. This is enlightenment. This is uh, solar chakra type of thing. With the result of this Ten of Cups, this is really um, healing. This is also, you know, very celebratory. Sometimes, you know, what's holding you back is mental and this is all like, metaphorical this is something that you need to evolve through grow through overcome but the celebration isn't literal but it feels like for you there is actually going to be in the month of may some type of celebration and it you are very victorious because of this strength and you really coming to observe yourself more you are um perfecting instead of being a perfectionist, you know, and using your gifts for positive instead of for anxiety. Um, so great spirit. Is there a, that is such a clear message. I'm not going to ask for, um, any clarifiers because it feels like that is so clear for you, Virgo. Great spirit. Okay. The golden egg and the Phoenix. So Two came out. I usually only read one. I asked for an animal spirit, okay, uh, for what animal is associated with Virgo in the month of May. And we got the golden egg and the phoenix. 
So the phoenix we know is all about rising from the ashes, you know, take it down and rise again. That sounds like perfecting. And the golden egg, let's read about the golden egg, shall we? The golden egg is about the message at the center of your heart, the unstruck sound. Within the golden egg, it's, I'll show you, it's like geometric patterns. Within the golden egg lives a precious sound. A, deep within that sound resides a message. The sound cannot be heard nor the message discerned until we retreat from the noise of modern day life. The magical essence of the golden egg needs warmth, quiet, and time to unfold. No rushing, pushing, or grasping. Find a place of deep and restful ease, perhaps through yoga or meditation. Okay. So this is about looking within, observing. It's at heart chakra. So... I'm going to associate that with this, um, you observe, and that observation moves you into the golden egg, your heart chakra, where you have the power, the courage, the strength to then transform that behavior, that pattern, okay? And then the phoenix, that's the sea serpent, and then the phoenix releases you from suffering it says freedom from suffering past karma <clears throat> and reincarnation <clears throat> it's funny that we taught I brought up reincarnation before because the phoenix represents the transformation of your past but it doesn't mean running from it denying from it or burning bridges with rage it's about using advanced techniques described in yoga as the burning of impurities through the practice of dedication. So this is a method of how you get to strength, which brings you. So I think spirit is really asking you also to look into your meditation practice, how you observe yourself. There are several different ways to observe yourself, but Spirit is asking you to move into meditation to allow you, your conscious self, to observe your unconscious self so that you can reframe and let go of these constraints. Whatever's holding you back, that's not really holding you back, but you are. It's a limiting belief, Virgo. It's something you try to control or some like pattern of trying to control when it's something that's really not in your control. Instead, you can control yourself, but that's a lot scarier than, and it's a lot harder to see because you naturally just observe and notice like, okay, well, this needs to be fixed, this needs to be fixed. And you are coming from a, a, a good place. Um, it's not always perceived that way, but spirit now is asking you to look within and apply that to yourself and release this bondage. The payoff is huge, y'all. The payoff is huge. So you can call on the cosmic egg and you can call on the phoenix. Any kind of stuck energy will be transmuted with these beings, this energy, this frequency. They're vibing with you this month, Virgo. I hope that reading resonated with you. Please leave comments and let me know, you know, what your cosmic egg was, what you noticed within, what type of meditation, yoga, you know, that you're using to practice mindfulness and to observe your uh, unconscious mind. Thank you so much for watching. Blessed be.